Great. Welcome, Tess. Thank you so much for coming. It's such a pleasure to meet you. Thank you for having me. Um, I was wondering if you could tell me what you like to invest in. Great. So I like to invest in what I say science fiction. So deep frontier tech. I have a commercial space background. So I like investing in things from commercial space to quantum computing to blockchain, drones, robotics. Basically everything 10 years ago that was on the show Star Trek, that's a reality now. In the next 10 years, that's science fiction now will be a reality. So I'm investing in those industries. And you, I hear you invest in the blockchain. Do you want to tell me a bit about that? Yes, so I am very interested in blockchain, the concept, and that being applied to various industries. So whether that industry is finance, whether that industry is insurance, or real estate, or data centers, or freelance, any of these things can use the concept blockchain as a trusted third-party source. So right now it's really popular in Bitcoin or Litecoin as a term, as a type of cryptocurrency. However, I get really excited about Ethereum and these sorts of smart contracts that, yes, they have a currency associated with them, but they're using more than just another dollar or euro. They're having substantial contracts behind it. The blockchain is going to change everything, as they say. I think it's fabulous. I really hope so. My one fear, though, is a lot of people associate and think Bitcoin and blockchain are synonymous. And what I have, I do have a fear that a bubble, there's over 900 cryptocurrencies growing at one a day. And if something were to happen with one of these cryptocurrencies, it would, of course, hurt the currency, but it would also hurt the fundamental concept of blockchain. But I do agree. I think the potential for blockchain to be applied to things in other industries is really exciting. And that potential is what I'm fascinated by. Right. And um, we always like to ask investors um, if they've got an unusual, funny or weird story about being an investor. Do you have something you could share with us today? Yeah, I have, I have a few. So I like to invest in deep technology. Uh, I walked in the meeting one time for a pitch and there's a VR headset on the table and they just said, put it on, put it on, adjust the straps and the entire pitch was in VR. Now pitches are about, what, 15, 20 minutes? So I'm immersed in, uh, it was a swivelly chair and I got to, it was a 360 VR pitch. Now you can imagine, first, wonderful pitch, super memorable. It was really hard to, to not ask all the questions I had and I couldn't write them down either. But during it, I kind of got nervous because they're in the room still, right? But I have headsets on, I'm in a VR. I didn't know if they were still in the room, what they were doing, if they were sitting there, if they were not. I was very vulnerable almost, just sitting there listening yeah. to this pitch in VR. But it was a very clearly memorable and awesome pitch. Uh, another really exciting one was a drone company. And uh, I walked in, the whole table was covered in DJI drones. And he's like, let's go to the parking lot and fly some. <laughs> So we just went in the parking lot and played around with drones for an hour. So those are two fun ones. I'm looking for one that's a space company that as their pitch, they're going to demo and let me travel to space since that's the goal in life. So any companies out there, if you're looking at space tourism and want a passenger, please let me know. You're the girl. <laughs> I'm your gal. Thank you so much, Tess. You're wonderful. It really is a pleasure to meet you. Thanks. Thank you so much.